Hi Kickstarter, my name is Kyle Polsoy. I founded Big Kitty Games in order to create a moral, transparent, community-driven game studio and games fitting of those ideals. Our first game, Solace Crafting, is still in its early stages, but I only say that because our goals are so big. Already we have a well-developed build with which I'd like to show you how I believe it has the potential to change the way we think about crafting and building in video games, and how you, as a backer, can help make all of that possible. In Solace Crafting, we can see over 48 kilometers, or around 30 miles away in 360 degrees, giving us over 9,000 square kilometers, or around 3,500 square miles of visible game world, wherever we are in each infinitely procedural dimension. This lets us see mountains, lakes, towns, quest encounters, and many other points of interest so we can choose where to go, what to do, and when to do it. The further we travel away from the start, in any direction, the more difficult everything becomes. Procedural towns and encounters spawn everywhere, and generate their contents based on how far out they are. This lets players choose when and where to engage in more difficult content. In Solace Crafting, all equipment recipes and enchantments are highly customizable, letting players craft equipment that looks good to them and make it work for what kind of a hero they are, regardless of their level. This system sidesteps traditional predetermined recipes, giving every item that we add in game millions of possible outcomes. Building in Solace Crafting is designed to be easy, fast, and forgiving. Buildings don't fall apart or decay and there's no limit to height or size. Colors, lights, traps, jump pads, teleporters, secret doors, skill locks, all kinds of fun stuff is just around the corner. Solaces are a player-crafted facility and can be placed anywhere, allowing instant travel across distant locations in different dimensions, so we never have to walk the same path twice. They also allow universal and unlimited resource storage, so we don't have to keep track of hundreds of chests. Prior to sharing content with one another, making sure that players are able to create a unique and personal character is one of the primary goals of Solace Crafting. Instead of races or presets, Solace Crafting lets players go nuts with the way their characters look. Blue skin, pink hair, a pig nose with elvish ears. Again, designed to be fun. Adventuring classes in Solace Crafting are entirely open, letting players mix sword and sorcery however they want with six skill points per level, and lots of skills to choose from. Skills are being added in large quantities, the idea being variety and choice, instead of strict balance. Skills are also divided into primary and support skills, letting players add fire to weapon attacks, lightning to their arrows, heals to their kicks, or anything that sounds like fun. For me, gaming is a form of relaxation, creative outlet, and a source of laughter with friends and strangers. I happen to disagree with metered progression, and that survival games need to be all about killing other players and taking their stuff. Uh, right now we're working on a content-rich single-player experience, but we'll definitely be working on multiplayer in time. Uh, the main goal of this Kickstarter campaign being quite literally to raise enough money for me to be able to focus on this full time. Uh, right now I work 8 to 6 at an aluminum and zinc foundry here in Japan designing machines for the automobile industry. Uh, it's not the same as hammering out swords and armor, but that's absolutely where my job evolved from. So maybe it's in my blood, but I've always loved crafting and building video games, and I've always felt that there was a lot of room for improvement. I hope this video has shown you uh, just how far along Solace Crafting already is. Uh, I've been posting almost daily updates on social media for about a year now and will continue to do so to make sure that the community knows where, what it is that I'm working on. Uh, I can't promise that I can please everybody, but I can promise that the game will be delivered. Already almost all major technical difficulties have been cleared. We've already got some live testers on Steam trying things out. Uh, I'm a real person putting a thousand percent into this and worst case scenario I will continue to pour my heart and soul into this uh, no matter what happens. 
So if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to get in, in touch with me directly. Uh, post a comment here on the Kickstarter page or on any social media. Uh, I'd love to hear your opinion. I wish you the best and thank you for watching.